Let's learn about the reports window. The window to the right of category is called reports. When you see a report appear in this window, you can click on the report to begin customizing the report to show the information you want to see. Apply what you learned in the last course and find the copy label report that you want to run. For a quick exercise, you should be able to find the copy label report using the search box or the categories on the left. Let's discuss the primary difference between copy labels and legacy labels. With copy labels, you can customize different information that appears on the report. This includes bolding text, adding custom text, changing the color of the text, altering the fields you want on the labels, and altering the positioning of the text. The only thing you can't do is change the color of the barcode itself. The reason for this is to ensure your scanner picks up scans. The only thing you can add in legacy labels is custom text. Take a look at both reports and see what best suits your needs. Once you click on the report, you'll notice the bottom half of the report screen opens up two tabs, selections and options. Let's look at both of these separately. First, the selections tab will decide what will be included on the report. You do not need to include information in all the selections, but rather look for a selection that is relevant for the books you need to print labels for. If you recall from our course on creating items, we mentioned the copy a session date. This is oftentimes the most relevant selection for this report. After creating items, you need to print labels for those books so they can be ready for circulation. Go ahead and put the date of when you added your copies into the copies added selection. Keep in mind, you can use whatever selection you want. If the selections you see aren't helping you, check the show additional selections box. This will give you more selections. Once your selection is set, click on the Options tab. The Option tab is where you'll customize your label report. The first thing you'll notice is Sort By. This simply sorts the labels on your printout. If you sort by author, it'll sort alphabetically. If you sort by barcode, it will sort numerically. To the right of Sort By, you'll see number of labels to skip and number of label copies. If you're using a label sheet that is missing a few labels, we allow you to skip those labels. For some reason you need more than one copy of labels, you can adjust that accordingly by adjusting the number of label copies. If you're using the copy barcode labels report, you can now create the labels you want. First, on the left hand side is a window that shows you how your label is going to look based on what you choose to the right. To adjust all the text that shows up on the labels, simply click on the field on the left. You'll then be able to adjust the information on the right. The first field in the barcode label viewing window is blank. And the reason for this is because the data field on the right defaults to empty. If you want to add data, go ahead and click where it reads empty and select what you would like to enter. Remember, this is all optional. The size dropdown only applies to the physical barcode you'll be scanning. Justification refers to the position where the text will be on the label, left, center, and right. Color will let you change the color of the text. And lastly, you can check bold to make the text appear in bold. You may want to create spine labels as well. Up above the customization screen, you will see your other label reports. The steps for creating your spine labels are the same as barcode labels. You just need to know what spine labels you may want to run. Lastly are the legacy labels. This is a simplified way of creating labels, but the selections remain the same. You still have the options to sort by, skip labels, and create more than one copy. The only real customization for legacy labels is the ability to create custom text. Let's get ready to run our report. Before you click Run in the bottom right hand corner, let us teach you a few things regarding the Run button and operation management. We will see you in the next course.